Chamber of Commerce uh, has been well aware that the Twin Cities metro area is on has been on the cusp of not making uh, attainment for fine particulate matter. And so the chamber has um, worked with a clean energy group mm -hmm. and has uh, promoted things like the green fleets and done a lot of work uh, to keep us in attainment. Uh, credit to the chamber for that. However, we see because of the health costs of fine particulate matter and science, medical science telling us that <clears throat> fine particulate is extraordinarily uh, expensive, that the standards are likely to be somewhat more restrictive to protect health, to protect health care costs, and that Minnesota will no longer meet the fine particulate standard. So probably even without new coal coming in. But if we have new coal coming in, and of course, even if it's in another state, the precursor chemicals and the fine particulates move because a lot of why we're out of compliance is because of what's coming in, or will be out of compliance, is coming in from other states. So if we were to adopt your proposal, um, Minnesota, the rest of Minnesota businesses would need to lower their emissions in order to meet uh, the fine particulate standard. Let me just think of 3M, uh, which actually wants to expand burning here, would be required to um, have less emissions. Is 3M okay <coughs> with this particular proposal to expand coal, and it has already agreed then to reduce its emissions in order to have more coal? I am not prepared to speak for them. They are part of my member, our membership, and let me assure you that our policies are developed with the scope of our membership giving input. 